Hello world and welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren and in this video I'm going to be showing you what you can watch on Amazon that's squeaky clean. When compiling this list, I tried to stick to films that were either PG or PG-13 as a guide. There's nothing worse than picking a movie and finding an unusual surprise there, like something crude or just really unnecessary. Ugh. These films I list should help you have a jolly good time with your friends and family without feeling awkward on those um, awkward parts of the movies. All jokes aside, I hope that you find this video helpful to keep your mind pure. Let's get into this list, shall we? So let's get started. As always, the trailers will be linked down below. All right, so the first film is It's a Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. This movie is sort of like an autobiography of Mr. Rogers and someone who's interviewing him. It has a lot of meaningful, heartfelt moments that make you kind of think about life. So if you don't know, Mr. Rogers was a TV entertainer back in the day for kids shows. He had a really unique personality that sort of interrupted Lloyd Vogel's spirit. He was very annoyed by Mr. Rogers. Lloyd has a lot of like personal issues going on in the background. I saw it twice at the movies before COVID. And it has Tom Hanks, so what's not to like about it? Okay, next on my list is Wonder. Wonder is a story about a little boy who goes to school for the first time in the fifth grade and he is bullied. He has facial deformities, which is the reason that his family decided to homeschool him until now in the fifth grade. So he enters public school. This movie has the beautiful Julia Roberts as the mom. You will cry. You will cry, so have those tissues ready. You're gonna find out who the little antagonist of the movie is, which is a little bully you're going to dislike him so much. My next movie suggestion is Run the Race. This is actually Tim Tebow's movie, but he's not in it and it's not a true story, so. So it follows two brothers throughout high school. One of the brothers is a more jock type He's good looking, everybody likes him, he's popular. And then the other brother's more sweet and sensitive. He has a better relationship with the Lord. The dream of the boys is to get out of town. To them, their key out of town is if the older brother gets a football scholarship. But right before um, he's getting ready to go to college, he gets hurt where he can't play anymore. The younger brother decides that he's gonna start running in order to get a running scholarship to get them out of, out of town. They have daddy issues, their mom, died there's a little romance with a nurse which i'm like but <laughs> it is a really good movie breakthrough is the next movie and i'm sorry y'all all of these are like dramas breakthrough is actually a true story chrissy metz stars in the movie and it's about this couple who has an adopted son and when he is about 14 years old he goes skating on this frozen lake the ice breaks he falls through and he's submerged for like 15 minutes and he's basically dead. They transport him to the hospital and the doctor's like, you know, he's pretty much dead. And the mom's like, no. And the mom prays so hard and they are able to detect a pulse. So it's like from God, you know, but the doctor warns that, you know, your son, he's probably going to continue to live in a vegetative state, but she's like, no. And so eventually this boy is well, do you want me to tell you? I'll just let you watch the movie. Next movie is War Room, and this movie has Priscilla Schreier. It's basically a story of a woman who's at wit's end with her marriage. On the outside, it seems like she has it all, but her husband kind of is like looking at other women and it's making her really bitter. She's gonna meet a woman who encourages her to pray. And from that, she's able to reclaim her life. One more Priscilla Schreier movie. This one's called Overcomer. It's a newer one that came out the movie is really about this high school coach he coaches basketball but a factory plant in town closes down a lot of parents lose their jobs and have to move away and so his basketball team's just crumbling before his eyes so he gets asked to coach cross country instead and he has one girl who comes and shows up and she has asthma real bad and he's like are you kidding me <laughs> like what do you think you're gonna do like the next movie is Little Women. I like the version with Ronel Marauder and Christian Bale. I like the new version with Timothy Chalamet. I don't know if I said his name right. He's so cute, right? Yeah, either version is good. I prefer the older one better. I just love like that era. Well, it probably would have been too good for black folks, but I just love movies like this. Also, while I'm at it, let me just say Sense and Sensibility is really good as well. Anyway. <laughs> 
Back to Little Women. It follows a huge family of sisters with different personalities. So their father's out for war and they live with their mother. There's Meg, who I personally think is boring. There's one sister, I don't even remember her name. She's always sick. And then there's Jo, who's like the writer. She's bold and different. There's Amy and she likes to paint and she goes to Paris. And then there's Laurie, which I have a love-hate relationship with Laurie. I'm just gonna tell you, there's a little love triangle between the sisters and this guy. I don't like Laurie. But in the first movie, I liked Laurie. I don't know if it was because it was Christian Bale. No. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you're interested in what to watch on Netflix and Pureflix, make sure you check the link in the card up below so that you can see those. Somehow I ended up without an outro, but thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. I hope you come back to check out my channel some more, and just thank you to everyone who's helped me to reach 4,000 subscribers. You guys truly are the best. See you in the next one.